Good morning and greetings to us all in the name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Welcome again uh, to our uh, morning devotion, especially for those who are watching and joining with us at this time. Our devotion will be in three ways, uh, through song, and then through the word, and then through prayer. I want to share with us today comes from the New Testament First uh, Peter chapter 5 and verse 7 of these words casting all your care upon him for he cares for you the thought I'd like to bring to us uh, this today this morning is that the thought of prayer taking time to pray the reason for that, this is how we actually connect with God. This is, I know this is someone, one of the things that's very dear, especially to our parents, those who came from the islands, but also in setting and teaching the the Tatalo, the Leonis, the Tipure, the prayers, especially in our families. So this is very close, this is very, very important, especially in times like this and the verse that I chose verse 7 it, it mentions casting all your care upon him for he cares for you and that I'm looking at this in in terms of prayer I mean throughout scripture the Bible tells us to pray without ceasing it's something it's like breathing as we breathe and so we pray but you know Prayer, I mean, in the Old Testament, they actually used to lift their hands up like this, looking up like this and praying to God. But even in the words of that song, what a friend we have in Jesus, right at the end, it says, why all these things happen, all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. How, how true that is. Even though that song may have been sung uh, how many uh, centuries ago, but the the meaning the meaning uh, of, of that is actually very true even for us today. Even in times like this, we just reminded again about the reality and the way how we connect with, with God. Our parents knew this; they knew about the secret of prayer, spending time with God but lifting everything before you go out like in, to school or even when they went to work before they went they they spend time in prayer before God because that's the secret that they knew how to connect with God they connected with God through prayer uplifting casting all our cares upon him because he cares for us the Lord Jesus, was, when he was in the, 
Garden of Gethsemane. It tells us that when he prayed, it's almost like there were drops of blood flowing from him. But there is a particular part in that prayer when he was praying, seeking the Father's will. But as he prayed that, this, these are some of the words uh, that he mentioned was, not my will, but your will be done. Always seeking the Father's will. And even Jesus, when he taught the Lord's Prayer, your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. He, had, he knew how to connect with God through prayer, spending time alone. Very important. And we know that in the life of Jesus, it tells us in the Gospels that he went away. In fact, he woke up very early and went away to a solitary place, to a, a quiet and lonely place. Where? Because he wanted to seek God, but to spend time with the Father in prayer. And so this is also a good reminder for us today. Even we're in the situation of the COVID-19 at level three at this time and in some parts of New Zealand level two. But here we can make use of the time that God has given, connecting to him in prayer, uplifting, uplifting and giving everything to God, casting all our cares upon him. Maybe some of us are worried. Maybe some of us may be troubled. Whatever it is, whatever it is that may be happening or things that may be happening in your life. Again, from the word of God, cast all your cares. We need to do that. I need to do that. Cast all our cares upon him. Why? According to the word, because he cares for you. So in light of that, people of um, at this time and this morning, we're just reminded again of this important truth, this importance, the importance of praying and casting all our cares upon him because he cares for us. And you know, it tells us something very important about God. One, he knows. Two, he sees. And three, he understands everything that is happening. Even what we are experiencing, God knows. God sees and God understands everything that is happening, even though you may not think that. Why do I say that? Well, remember, God is our creator. He's the one who created the heavens and the earth, but he also created us, which means he knows everything about us. Isn't that a good thing? Even in our situation today, wherever you are, May you be encouraged again, connect with God and cast all your cares upon him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, again, we just want to acknowledge your presence and give you thanks and praise, Lord, because of who you are. You are indeed the creator of the universe, the one who is sovereign above all. And Lord, thank you again for your word and thank you for that song, thank you for reminding us again to cast all our cares upon you because you care for us. Thank you that you're God who knows everything about us and that you see it, even the things that others cannot see. But Lord, that you understand our situation here in New Zealand, in each of our homes, right throughout this nation and right throughout the whole world. Father, you see the so much strife and so much calamities. Lord God, again, your word reminds us to cast all our cares upon you. So this morning, we just cast everything into your hands today, our very lives. And Lord God, is pray, we pray especially too for your hedge of protection upon your people, the different services that are available in our homes, wherever we may be. We just pray especially for your hedge of protection, your guidance and your protection throughout this day. Go before us, Lord, and continue to lead us and to guide us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
just a reminder, I thank you once again for joining uh, in our brief devotion this morning. Uh, once again, uh, tomorrow at 7 o'clock, we'll be having our devotion. God bless and take care. And remember, uh, obey the, the rules. <laughs>